Hundreds of homes and buildings on Maui are gone, with 55 people now confirmed dead, and that number is expected to go up. Governor Green got a first-hand look at the destruction. He joins us now to talk more about the plan moving forward. Good morning, Governor. Thanks so much for joining us today. Good morning. I want to go ahead and begin with an update you have for Lahaina residents and visitors. Some positive news. Yes, so uh, we're heart sick over the loss of life. Uh, but people will be able to get back to their homes today. The mayor will make an announcement uh, later this morning that people will be able to go and see their homes. We will be able to get people back into Lahaina. Now, I want to caution everyone. Lahaina is a, a devastated zone. They will see destruction like they have not ever seen in their lives. Uh, everyone, please brace themselves as they go back. Be very safe. Be very careful. Uh, but we are going to get people back. The mayor will also likely announce a curfew. We're going to have to be very careful. Uh, but we do want people to get back to their homes. I want to clarify again. So residents of Lahaina looking to go back in. There will be an announcement. They will begin to go back into their homes today. So those who are still in Lahaina who didn't want to leave their homes, they'll be able to get out as well. What about family members of those living in Lahaina and loved ones and friends? I know a lot of people want to go directly to check on them or directly to distribute essentials. Will they be able to do that? Yes, that's my expectation. Again, they'll have to be very careful. Uh, telecommunications were destroyed. That's why it was so difficult uh, to sound the alarm for the fire, to communicate in this uh, last, say, 36 hours to find out whether or not one's loved one was hurt or had gone the other direction to get out of harm's way. So that's what we need to do. We will be reuniting people. We will take care of our family, which is a statewide global family, in every way we can. But that is the plan. Uh, please stay tuned very carefully for the message from Mayor Bisson. They're working day and night. Uh, please be very understanding of the police and fire because they're still trying to be safe. Uh, some houses that were burned, we have not been able yet to send fire uh, rescue dogs and so on into those buildings. Um, so we ask people, and we'll be very firm about this, do not go into any structure that looks even remotely affected by fire because we just don't want to see any other casualties. You talked about a curfew. Is that curfew for just the Lahaina area? Is it for the entire island of Maui? What time would that be, and when would that start? Uh, I'd just be speculating. I assume it's going to be just the Lahaina area, but I'm going to defer uh, to that direct management for the mayor. We're in full support of the mayor, as you can imagine. The county folks have to do all of the hard work right on the ground. It's my responsibility to support them, to bring resources, FEMA resources. Uh, you really can't even imagine uh, the amount of support we're getting from across the country. President Biden has called me twice. Uh, the vice president's been in touch with our teams, Senator Schatz and Hirono, and our congressional folks have all been on top of this. Uh, even this morning alone, I was able to talk to the HUD secretary, uh, Pete Buttigieg, who's our infrastructure, transportation czar, and the president, all around 4 a.m. Uh, they are all hands on deck. They will be sending resources. And as you know, the president turned around our request for the disaster declaration within six hours. I think that, in fact, I'm sure that that is the fastest it's ever been done. Um, so we're grateful. We're grateful to everyone. And then there's the uh, people all across the planet who love Hawaii and have begun to send millions and millions of dollars that we will get directly to the families that are suffering and struggling. Uh, they should go through the Hawaii Community Foundation or other charitable entities and give because that will make it easier, even though we intend to bring an extreme amount of resource uh, at every level to, to the rescue and recovery effort. Let's talk more about the housing, because I know that you had mentioned yesterday in the news conference that you're asking for, for people to step up if they have any room in their houses, um, hotels to kind of step up as well. When exactly do you hope that would start where people can actually move into other people's homes or hotels? And also, if you do have a place where you can shelter, where do you go? How do you let people know? So we will have a hotline and I believe a website available for people to be hooked into these programs. Uh, hopefully later today, maybe as late as tomorrow. Our team is working already overnight with, for instance, the National Airbnb folks. They are going to provide us an incredible amount of resource in the form of houses that they have on their registry. Uh, but we have to coordinate that so that it's uh, our local people that get into those units. Then on top of that, I'm going to pursue 2,000 hotel rooms. I have the leadership of the hotel entities, people like uh, Jerry Gibson, Mufi Hanum, and uh, all of the leadership from the hotels uh, will be on deck again helping us. So we thank them. We mahalo them for working together. Uh, I spoke to the president about that specifically, and he said, you got it, Josh. So I'm sure that that's going to uh, come to pass. Uh, it's going to be a long 
uh, need for this because you have to understand, first off, there's going to be several hundred families that are displaced. Then when you see the devastation up close, you see that it's going to take many months to, to uh, to remove the debris. That means workforce people are going to have to be in the, uh, in the area. They're going to have to be staying on Maui. Then the rebuilding will begin. So I would suspect, although I don't have this plan fully formed yet, it's only been a few hours, mm -hmm. I would suspect that we will try to uh, get thousands of units for many months, if not years, uh, to be available, which we will pay for, uh, to house people or we will subsidize to house people as we do these projects. Uh, that's why you have long-standing resources from FEMA. Much of this will be paid for by the federal government because they generously support at least 75 percent of the cost. So we thank uh, FEMA's leadership for being here on the spot already. Tomorrow all day long I'll be with the director of FEMA walking the ground like we did yesterday so that she sees firsthand how much help we need. So you'll go back to Maui tomorrow? Yeah, I'll go back tomorrow, probably volunteer in the shelter a little bit and uh, just talk to people. You know, I, I spoke to people yesterday. I saw one young gentleman who had uh, burns on about 30% of his body. He was doing okay. Some on his face, uh, second degree burns on his face, third degree burns on his legs. Uh, we have support from Straub and our hospitals to get him care. There were three gentlemen that were homeless that were staying at the edge of Lahaina. They had um, somewhat charred skin, and one of them was having some breathing difficulties, which, was, you know, listen to his lungs, and we will send help for him as needed. But there are people out there that are suffering some smoke inhalation injuries. There are a lot of people that are traumatized. I, I want to be candid with you. The next phase of the recovery is going to be psychological. Mm -hmm. uh, as people find out what they have lost or the, the loved ones and friends that have been devastated, there will be a wave of psychological trauma. So our team will be with the county, with everyone, providing additional social services and mental health care services. Uh, and then the rebuilding will begin. But the, um, the psychological response is likely to be the next big hurdle. So everyone should be prepared. Uh, this is a long process, but it does give us one opportunity, and that is to come together. Uh, Republicans and Democrats from across the country have called me. Governors uh, on equal sides have said they would like to help presidents and international leaders. So let's set aside any difference and all put our hands together for the people of Maui. Uh, this is a unifying event, uh, if nothing else, after we get through the traumatic stage. Um, we talk about rebuilding. A big portion of rebuilding is the businesses, yes. is the economic impact that uh, Maui has yes. felt and is going to be feeling for years to come for entrepreneurs, business owners out there watching and listening. Can you be more specific about the kind of help that they will have and when they will start to see that? Yes, it can be almost imminently. They should go to the FEMA website. We will get you all of those links so that you can have them, good phone numbers and so on. The small business associations can uh, provide almost zero interest or very low interest loans. And in some cases, individuals will get grants uh, who are people who also own a business, but they were devastated because they lived there. So the grants can range from, you know, the low thousands up to $40,000, I believe, for individuals. But businesses can get, like we saw in other disasters, very large loans at very low interest rates. I, of course, will then fight to get some of those loans forgiven, but that is the longer process. Senator Schatz, uh, Brian and I have already spoken about an emergency appropriation at the federal level, which would come sometime in the fall. That's the kind of thing that happens uh, when these crises occur. I don't think many people yet understand the full scope of the destruction uh, that is in that region. Also remember, we have other problems. There are 11,000 individuals that don't have power because so many poles came down. I'll be getting an additional briefing from HECO today or uh, Maui Electric mm -hmm. Company uh, Division and Branch. But uh, that also could kind of in some ways technically displace another several thousand people many of whom are workers right there. So all of these things have to be done in partnership, and we are grateful to see, number one, the heroic work of the fire and police folks, the, the extraordinary efforts of Mayor Bisson and his team, and to have our congressional delegation here in state, plus the feds. I mean, it tells you how much people value Hawaii. One more partner, the military, Indopaycom, and those folks have offered any resources that we need. We will avail uh, them of that. And so General Hara, who's our point person, we will have an additional command center, uh, his deputy. Uh, all of those people will be working with the military to bring whatever we need, fuel, water, resources. The uh, Army Corps of Engineers will help us rebuild. So expect an enormous amount of effort to go into this, but also think of it in the context of the larger questions. How do we make things safe long term? 
How do we have housing, enough housing in some of our rural areas and even eventually, of course, on Oahu when we see this kind of thing happen? This is all part of our, our global response to our problems. Uh, before we let you go, I just want to recap in case viewers joined us a little bit later in our interview, but I do want to also uh, recap to our viewers what Governor had mentioned earlier that it will be announced later. Lahaina residents and visitors will be allowed back into the area and residents will be allowed to leave. There will be a curfew likely announced today possibly just for the Lahaina area, but again, the county will come out with that. Yes. Um, so a bit of good news there. Before we let you go, do you have one final message to the people of Maui? Uh, just that we love you. Uh, ask for help as you connect uh, with people across the state. Ask us to assist you from each of the other islands. Uh, avail yourself of those relationships because people want to offer help. They just don't know how to help right now. A lot of people will take you in uh, in different parts of the islands, we are sure. Uh, Resources are coming, they're coming now, in fact, uh, but we do need to be thoughtful and clear out of the area to the best of our ability because a lot of reconstruction has to happen as we do search and rescue and the initial response to this disaster. Uh, but our hearts are with you and our people will be on the ground 24-7, uh, so we want you to feel totally supported. All right, and they are totally supported by the entire state and, of course, parts of the world as well. Governor Green, thank you so much for your time and for stopping by. Thank you.